YouTube, Topaz Jace back for another daily review, and this one is to that big boy featuring Killer Mike and Jeezy, Kill Jill, and I'm giving this one the green light because it's fire. And quite honestly, there's been a good selection of really good songs and projects to have come out as of recently, man, which I'm really happy for that. This year really started off slow, but it seems as though things are really picking up right now, and I absolutely love that. As this song, there's no core concept here, it's really just lyrical ability of everybody involved, as I really enjoyed that production. That production was really on point and then throw in that whole hook that Jeezy had, which that's all he had on here was just a hook. And it wasn't like a phenomenal hook, but yet that trap energy that he brings to a track, that was honestly really needed for this production and this overall song and it really melts it all together really well. Now as you break down the lyrics, you first gotta understand that Killer Mike and Big Boy aren't like prototypical great lyricists and such, man. Really, they do their thing, but yet you're not getting the most potent punchlines throughout here, but they were still pretty solid with this track. Like how Killer Mike had his wordplay, which ultimately started off with saying photo, but then he continued to flip it into fofo, into dodo, and on and on, in which he brought that back at the very end of the song as well, which that's not anything unique to this song or anything like that. That's something that a lot of people do, but yet he took it beyond what most people do. But honestly, my favorite punchline that he said was, I could care less what your mouth say, but show me what your mouth do, which is rather self-explanatory, but yet very catchy and very enjoyable. I feel as though that's going to be a key highlight to this track right here. While Big Boy has more complexity to his verses, but yet the potency still isn't there or whatever, man. But yet, he's talking about some key things here. Well, one punchline is him saying that he's about to dumb it down, but then he starts talking about his bank account and how it's going goofy, so he's ultimately all but saying that he got stupid money. That was pretty cool. But then he said something rather interesting. Said how they saying that Cosby gave these chicks roofies, but who knows what the truth is? And how Chicago is full of shooters, but my garage is full of hoopties. And he's ultimately saying that nobody really knows and he really doesn't believe that Cosby did all of these rapes that people are saying. And I'm on record saying that I don't believe that either. Because if he actually did all of that, he would have got lynched back in those days to keep it 100. But the reason why I know that's what he means is when he said that his garage is full of hoopties. Who has a big garage when he's talking about all all this money that he got and you just gonna fill it up with whack cars and all of that man nobody does that so what he's saying is that these roofies that Bill Cosby is giving out that's just as honest as him having a garage full of hoopties overall an excellent track that I recommend people to go out there and cop dude but a quick recap here man the positives that I'm taking from this is that it's overall just a dope track here man but yet the negatives is lyricism could have been better but this concludes today's review, man, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer DJ Kep before we take some of your questions. So Shuminati says that that Joey Badass album is his favorite so far, man, that he's actually going out there to support him on that. And I feel you, I hope more people go out there and support that Joey Badass album because that is by far leading the way right now of all of the albums that have come out. But yet, there's been some decent stuff. Like, I think Rick Ross's album was pretty good in there too. And this is a statement that I left off of my hate mail video that I just recently dropped, but yet I get these types of comments all the time and such. Like, people are always trying to say, you think you so good, but you ain't getting them views or anything like that, and that's all nonsense. But these people out here claim that I'm not successful when it comes to this review game and all of that, man. But yet, it seems as though they never do their homework, man, with this channel here. I think it's already eclipsed 1,600,000 1, views, it may be just under that. And then I got an old channel that I completely disregarded for various reasons, man, but yet that one was over a million when I let it go. So, I get views, so you're gonna have to miss me with all of that, but yet I don't really take that as confirmation for me, though. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.